Hello guys, welcome back to another Tiger Q-Tip of the Month and today I'm going to show you how to play those uh, kill shots with just a touch of left English. So I've set up the balls here, uh, you've all seen this situation before when you've played matches and <clears throat> one of the basic things what most amateurs do wrong is that when they're playing the cue ball to make the one ball they're just playing with follow. So what happens there is that there's a chance for the white ball just to drift off slightly because uh, you've got to play it slowly uh, and also it just makes that pocket a little bit smaller and if you don't get the speed right you're probably not going to get any good shape on the two ball where we're just killing the white ball just with that touch of left it it, it uh, avoids the white ball drifting for one but also it makes the pocket bigger because of the spin and also when the white ball hits, hits the rail it just kills it nicely and you should get really good shape on the two ball. So uh, again, you've got to have full confidence in your tip uh, and and the deflection on your shaft. So we'll give it a go and I'll talk you through it. Right guys, so let's give it a go. So like I said before, I see so many amateurs playing this shot, just, just playing with follow and just top of the white ball. I mean, that that's okay if, if you really trust the table and you trust your nerve because obviously playing it slow under that little bit of pressure it's just a bit more difficult but the biggest problem is that there's a good chance of the white ball drifting off and I see this mistake a lot and I see a lot of amateurs mess this shot up because of this reason and also if, if you hit it a little bit too hard you're going to lose the white ball somewhere around here so just killing the white ball is key just with a touch of left just just to kill that white ball when it hits the rail so what I do with this type of shot where if I hit the ghost ball, this would be my contact point. So all I'm doing is just going a fraction more to the right of the object ball. So maybe half a tip. So i will basically be hitting here now. But when we're playing with left to English, when when it hits the object ball, it, it just throws it that little bit. But also when it hits the rail, it's going to spin in. Uh, and the good thing we're playing it this way is that you're guaranteed shape on the two ball. It makes the pocket a lot bigger. There's less chance of the white drifting off, which is key. And the only way you can really miss this ball is to miss it thin. So that eliminates that also. So let's give it a go. There you go, just played it perfect. Uh, didn't have to use a rail as well. So, uh, but, but that's the key to that shot is that I know I can't overcut that ball. And I know it. I know because I'm playing it low with that little bit of left, the white ball's not going to drift off either. I've got perfect shape on the two ball, and I'll probably win the game from there just because of that one little tricky shot. And if you play it the right way, then uh, it just makes the game a lot easier. And uh, that's why I play with Sniper. Have total trust in your tip, and you'll see the results. Uh, so uh, we'll see you next time.